QuickBooks keeps track of the people and businesses that you buy things from on the suppliers list. You can access the suppliers list by going to Expenses and then clicking Suppliers. From here, you can see a list of the people from businesses that you buy things from. QuickBooks displays their names, phone numbers, email addresses and your balance with them, which is the amount of money that you currently owe them. You can also print this list and export it to Excel by selecting these icons. If you want QuickBooks to display more columns with the supplier's information, click on the gear icon and you can turn on or off any of these columns. To see information about a supplier, simply click their name and from here, QuickBooks displays any transactions that you've had with them. And you can look up information about their email address, phone number or address by clicking on Supplier Details. If any of this information ever changes, simply click Edit. And from here, you can change any of the information about a supplier. There are a few special things to mention about suppliers that are on the screen. First of all, you can enter terms, and this is the number of days that the supplier typically gives you to pay off one of the bills that they send you. There's also an account number. This is the number that has been assigned to you by the supplier, and it will also appear in the memo line of every payment that you generate out of QuickBooks for that supplier. Click Save once you are happy with the supplier edits you have made. You can enter a new supplier by going to the suppliers list, scrolling to the top and clicking New Supplier. You can also import a list of suppliers from Excel. Complete the relevant fields in the Supplier Information window, then select Save and Close when finished. There are many advantages to entering a supplier on your suppliers list before entering any of their transactions. Namely, whenever you open up a new transaction for that supplier and you input their name right here, if they've been entered onto your suppliers list ahead of time, QuickBooks will automatically input their address and also their email address right here along with any other details for that supplier, such as terms. Back to the Expenses tab, you can also filter your suppliers list so that you can see a list of just the suppliers that you owe money to by clicking on Filter, selecting Open and then Apply. Notice that QuickBooks now filters out all of the suppliers that do not have any open bills. And so now, we only see suppliers that we owe money to. You can also use the suppliers list to create transactions such as new bills or new expenses. That's how easy it is to use the suppliers list to organize data about the people you buy things from. Now get started.